look, I know I'm late at uploading this video, but in all honesty, when am I ever early? Mia, guess what I'm gonna be doing a video about today? It begins in land and ends in oi. How do you even guess? I mean, like, it's not, it's not, like, easy. Excuse the hair, because <laughs> I've just literally had a bath and I couldn't be bothered to do it. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, something I haven't really done before, something that I should have done a long time ago, and I'm sorry. This is the story of when me, me, my mum, my dad, my sister, all went to Lanzarote, which is this little island, it's a Canary Island, literally off the coast of Virtue Venturi, you can literally see it right across the water. Anyway, without any further ado, this this is the story of our holiday for two weeks. We went on a submarine and it went down to like, I think it was around 30, 35 metres, something like that, I can't really remember now. So, so right now we're headed presumably to like the coast of the island because we're actually going to, we're going to go in a submarine at five o'clock, which leaves us over an hour and then we'll be submerging. Um, and there was a diver that went on the outside of the window and you could kind of see the, like, all the fishes and you could see them feeding the actual fish which was really really cool. The actual submarine itself um, was a bit smaller than I imagined it to be but it held like 40 people, like 20 on either side and each person got a window which was really cool. That's 30 metres, 30 metres down. It's pretty, it's pretty cool and apparently the divers are going to come down and feed the fish. That'd be cool. And then we just had to sing everyone's favourite song. Don't live in a yellow submarine, 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 Overall, oh, overall, pretty cool experience. I know this, this is probably irrelevant information, but I thought I'd tell you anyway. We saw this massive, like really, really, really big yacht um, in the same harbour as the submarine. And apparently it cost 80 million and it was owned by the, the owner of Screwfix, which was pretty cool. I wouldn't mind to own Screwfix if I got a yacht like that. Most nights after we've either been around the pool, been to the beach, done the submarine, done a volcano, which I'll tell you about in, in a while. Um, most nights we went down to the bar and obviously had a few drinks, had a dance. It got it got pretty funny. And we also met these these um, friends, which was um, Rachel, Michael, Dylan, and Mia. Which also it was, it was a pretty cool experience. And thanks to them, obviously they made it even more fun. <laughs> As you could probably tell, I'm like the best dancer in the in the world. Um, no, I'm really not. I don't know how to dance, so please excuse all my awful dancing and don't destroy me in the comments about it. Thank you much, appreciate it. Go on, give it a wave. <laughs> and the, these were the friends that I was talking about. There was um, Dylan, which is the the boy, the young, like the son. Um, Mia, which is I'm not talking about my sister Mia. I'm talking about the the other little girl. Mia, and then there's obviously Rachel and Michael, which was the mum and dad. High five! High five! There was also there was also like entertainment on every single night. There would be one night there would be like a magic show. Then there would be. I don't know, a bird of prey. Hey, then there'd be a parrot show. <laughs> um, what else was there? There was dancing every single night, there would be like, um, Motown, which is like all the Jersey boys, all the old music that's still really good, that sort of stuff. Um, 
children's entertainment, like, there was everything, so it catered for everyone. Um, all the drinks, unfortunately, stopped at 11, which was pretty annoying, but um, that was just all-inclusive. You had to pay um, after 11 up until 1, which was alright, because we, we paid for the drinks as well, so, yeah, I couldn't go without, like, Coke, you know, couldn't go without any Coke from 11, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving on from the night time, there was, there was loads, loads of things that happened in the day, of course, obviously. Um, I didn't record that much on the beach, um, but we went there. <laughs> And it was it was like a lovely beach. It was like almost almost a cove, but it wasn't because like there was rocks that came in from either side like surrounding you. So it was it was a really nice beach. And of course, you can't miss out the the weird and wonderful shops that we um, come across. We're gonna have a little a little mooch around in the shops and probably have something to eat as well. <laughs> this is so narrow. <laughs> Might might get one for Charlie's like a late birthday present. I think he would like it. It's his, it's his sort of style. Honestly, the, these shops on like in abroad, it's like a it's like a holder has opened a, a shop and has crammed as many things in to this shop as possible. Look, stuff everywhere. The thing is that they're very particular about not recording in these shops. Like there's, there's, there was this Chinese lady, and she was like, oh don't don't record, don't record. And then there was another Chinese lady, and she was like, oh, she was talking about the camera, obviously. And she was like, oh, yeah, you've got a long one. I was like, oh, thanks. But obviously, they're, they're, busy, they're being this particular because all the stuff in the shops are, like, they're cheap from China, and, like, it's all fake. Like, the, the Ray-Bans are, like, I like this thick. So, um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a funny experience to be going down in all these shops. To find. Just, just a small like, just a small start. It's like I wasn't too hungry, so I didn't get too much, you know. Just, just that, and just that, you know. Nothing too big. And the last kind of experience was, um, was like a whole experience, does that even make any sense? Doesn't really, does it? The camel rides and the volcano were part of the same experience is basically what I'm trying to say. We started going up towards the volcano um, on this coach. There was like so many, like you look outside and there's nothing but like molten rock and stuff. It's really hard to explain. No plant life, except in a few isolated spots. And when we finally got up there, they was doing all these different types of experiments where um, they would use the heat of the volcano itself. One was when they boiled water and it just literally exploded. Um, I think one was when they chucked like straw down this, this hole and it set on fire. I can't remember what the other one was, but I know there's barbecuing like sausages and stuff and um, just like food in general on the heat of the volcano, which was insane. All of group is inside. So here we are in the kitchen. So every day the restaurant, the El Diablo restaurant is open. All right, um, the last thing that I'm going to talk about, and there's plenty more stuff like around the pool and everything, but I didn't get that many clips in general because um, I wanted to enjoy the holiday and 
not worry too much about vlogging, if you know what I mean. We went on camels again. Obviously, we've already been on them, so I'm not going to make a massive segment about it. <laughs> but it was quite cool because there was some, like, really steep hills coming up and down and stuff, which was pretty funny. There was actually this one woman that wasn't weighed down properly and she was like proper like shaking and stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I hope you did enjoy this video. Something a little bit different for you guys. Um, if you'd like, click the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're new.